So, I'm back today with another video talking about my free BSD challenge, and today we're on day three. So days one and two were more about how my hardware works and how my workflow works. So today I wanna just talk about the software you can run on FreeBSD, and specifically I wanna talk about what consuming media on FreeBSD is like, because that's something that I do a lot of. So we're gonna be talking about that right now on the Linux Lounge. So the first thing to say about media consumption on BSD is that local media playback works extremely well. My media player of choice, MPV, works great on FreeBSD, as does Lollipop for music. As well as that, I remember once upon a time when codec issues used to be a thing on Linux. And I'm glad to say, much like Linux, BSD no longer has a problem with codecs. The movies that I have downloaded locally work perfectly fine, although I can't show you any playback because YouTube will take this video down if I even so much as dare to try. As well as that, every music file that I have works perfectly fine, and that's in a variety of codecs and formats. So all in all, all of that sort of thing works perfectly. Although with that said, online media is a different story though. DRM free content like YouTube works perfectly fine as one would expect. However, content that has DRM doesn't work as there's no support for Widevine on BSD. Netflix, for example, doesn't work on BSD, which is ironic since Netflix's servers are actually hosted on FreeBSD. Now, apparently there are ways to watch Netflix on BSD. Running Firefox in the Linux emulator for BSD might work apparently. Failing that, a lot of people have had luck running Windows or Linux in a virtual machine to access Netflix from there, which is quite a comfortable solution apparently, and since you can run VirtualBox on BSD, there's plenty of ways to do that. However, for now, I'm just going to leave Netflix alone for the week as I consider running Netflix in a virtual machine cheating during this challenge where I'm only going to use FreeBSD. Another media source that uses DRM that I enjoy is Spotify. Now, Spotify is a weird one. It does work on BSD, but not officially. The official Spotify app doesn't work on BSD, and nor does the web browser version, for the same reason that Netflix doesn't work. However, one can get Spotify to work on BSD, anyway, and there are a few ways to do it. If you want to use the official client, you can run a virtual machine, as you would with Netflix, but there are actually two unofficial clients you can use. One is called Spotify TUI, which does work, but in order to play things from Spotify, it depends on another program called Spotify D, which I was not able to get working for some reason. However, I found a program that does work. It's called NC Spot, and it's a terminal program, but it still has a very nice UI, and it's, you know, pretty good, and I was actually able Able to get it to work and it worked perfectly. I can play back any song on Spotify, browse through my library, and it just generally works great. So much that I actually plan to make a dedicated video on it at some point. The only caveat really is that it doesn't work with Last.fm scrobbling for some bizarre reason. Maybe there's a way to get that going, but I couldn't figure it out, and it's not really a deal breaker for me, and I still find it to be a really nice piece of software. And finally, I'd like to say that all of the miscellaneous media content that I like to consume is also easily available on BSD. So for example, I like to listen to podcasts, and Gpodder, my podcast client of choice, is available on FreeBSD and works perfectly. So I can use that to listen to all of my podcasts that I want to listen to. Actually, with that said, I'd like to see if there are any BSD podcasts out there, so if you know of any good ones, let me know in the comment section below. But with that said, all in all, I'd say the experience of using FreeBSD to consume media is very good. And as someone who likes to consume media a lot, that brings FreeBSD one step closer to being my possible daily driver. So with that said, that's it for day three of my challenge. Join me tomorrow when I'm going to talk about gaming on FreeBSD. Thanks for watching.